going on? We're back at the shop and I have a Lexus to my left and we still have the car. Today is the 26th of May. We've had it for four days, one more to go. Nissan's main goal in giving us this vehicle for this week, aside of driving it and putting it through the paces and giving feedback, was to meet up with as many enthusiasts and some potential influencers along the way. Uh, Lexus is in the industry and she's gonna tell us a little bit about herself. Thank you for making a two and a half hour drive up here. Thank you for having me. I know me. it wasn't easy in LA traffic. No, so. but it was totally worth it to see this thing. Yes. I was like, it's beautiful. Awesome. Um, again, my name is Alexis, also known as Miss Lexus on Instagram. I'm a car model as well as a Rockstar Street Team Influencer Manager. So you'll either find me at a car show, car meet, um, either at the shop, um, really anywhere where the cars are. Um, I enjoy going to like the Formula Drift events. I love seeing these new cars come out, you know, being able to see something that's, you know, pre-production is amazing. So it's really a pleasure being here. Yeah. So thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. We're excited. We want to get her feedback. We're going to do some interior driving, show ride shotgun. You can comment on the acceleration, the braking, the handling. Uh, we'll have it all documented and covered. We'll patch it all in. And, uh, you know, for me and for us in general as a company, Fast Intentions, it's always been about connecting with the community, connecting with the customers. Uh, they pay the bills at the end of the day, and we're all passionate about this industry. And we want to, we all want to be able to enjoy this vehicle moving forward. And, you know, I want to thank Nissan, and I've been doing that throughout the week, and we're going to continue to do that. This is an amazing opportunity. Uh, we definitely do not take it lightly in any way, shape, or form. And we look forward to growing the budding relationship moving forward to be able to give this type of stuff back to you, the end consumer. So come along for the ride. Um, you know, there's a lot of elements to this that are very similar to the 370Z mm -hmm. in terms of, it's obviously on the chassis, which, right. you, which you knew. Um, let's see this guy coming, all oh, right. Um, so the first thing you'll notice when I I'll come off this light here. And, right. Okay. That's stock. Wow. That's bone stock. That's here, I'll roll these. I'll roll these windows up and turn the air on so we're not uh, <laughs> fighting. To compete with that so this is obviously all redone you know this is all completely new right it's brought it into 2022 mm -hmm. it's a fun little car to drive yeah so, you familiar with the synchro uh, rev i'm not so actually. what it does is on downshifting it rev matches oh that's nice it's actually really really cool hmm. um and it was an awesome feature that they incorporated into the 09 370 and it was a game changer mm -hmm. like just to have that little feature so right. you don't get that in the base model but you know you get the, the two types of usb ports and yeah uh, you still get the exact same layout um, of the performance and what's really cool is you can switch and now you have both gauges oh so you have different modes, which is really That's rad. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And it keeps the three iconic gauges. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Like 40 You have a boost gauge there. And oh. That's turbo speed, which is kind of cool. That they incorporated that for the first time. Yeah. And the volts. The, the only analog thing they kept. Yeah. I mean, technically, <laughs> these are still analog, right? They're well, just, yeah. They're mm -hmm. just, they're, they're, they're in a digital display. Digital. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has hill assist. Okay. For manual. So, which is kind of nice. cool. Okay. You know, you have like about two seconds if you're on a hill mm -hmm. and you're in first and you disengage the clutch, the car won't roll backwards on you. Mm -hmm. I actually don't like it because it clamps down on the brakes so hard. Oh. And what happens is, is you're disengaging the clutch to give it throttle to go. It's the, the engine's actually fighting the braking system. Oh, wow. So the car wants to almost like lug and, and, and stall oh. just for a split second before mm -hmm. the brakes disengage and then you can go. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Biggest thing I've noticed so far is the car feels more refined. You don't mm -hmm. you don't absorb as much of the road, mm -hmm. if, you know. And I, what's your take on that in the short time you've been in it? Yeah, I was like, it actually feels pretty good. There's not so far. We're getting into a few little turns here, but it's not like ridiculous body roll either. Right. Um, it actually feels pretty solid. It's yeah. Not too bad, actually, for being stock. I'm like you can't. I feel like I can't complain really. It's like this is nice. Yeah. It's like the seats do hug you here. Right. But themselves, they're not. You know. 
the right. comfiest. Right. No, it's not. <laughs> not the comfiest, but I like being held so when you go into those curves, you kind of, you don't move too much. Right. Being like a stock seat. So what I think is really cool, and we talked about this when you just got here, so mm -hmm. from a performance enthusiast standpoint, you buy this car for $41,000, and you say, I'm going to change the wheels, I'm going to change the brakes, the sway bars, right. the seats, I'm going to do all that anyways. Mm -hmm. So why would I want to overpay for all that stuff in the performance model when I'm going to take it out of the car? Right. And I think that's kind of cool that they gave you that option Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. at, a, at a much lower price point. Right, because they already know the types of enthusiasts that they were going to be attracting with this. You know, having the 400 horsepower, the twin turbo, you know, people are like, okay, at least that might stay stock for a bit until people start switching out, you know, their seats, the cosmetic stuff here and there. And then, um, you know, later go on to messing with the engine and whatnot. But yeah, definitely a nice option not to, you know, have to pay for all the bells and whistles if you're not going to use them, if you're just going to switch them out anyways. Totally. Totally. I agree with that. And I think, and I know firsthand that there are a lot of enthusiasts like us that work within the company mm -hmm. on the R and D team, on the driveline team. I can think of three or four individuals that I know personally uh, between Nissan and Nismo mm -hmm. that they're avid car enthusiasts that are hammering the point home day in and day out to the engineers and the marketing team back in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, that hey, this is you know for what it's worth, this is how we need to create this vehicle right. to really not only maximize our return on investment for buyer, right. but to make the enthusiast happy. Exactly. Nissan is different. I mean, they, especially they actually listen to their, you know, consumers and the people that yes. are buying and, you know, they're learning throughout the years, the things that needs to, you know, evolve and change with time because some companies just kind of keep it the same. They just kind of keep what they know and that's just kind of it, but they don't listen to totally. the people that are buying them. So I think it's great that, you know, we have that option to just buy it, just baseline, you know, because yeah, like we were saying, you know, a lot of people are going to switch all that stuff out anyways, and it's stuff that you want. It's custom to what you want, whether, right. but it's nice having that higher end package as well for those that are just like, I just want a weekend car. I just want to, you know, chill cruise with it, you know, be able to take it and be perfectly okay with it, with, it, you know, those extra right features, there? yeah. See how smooth it was? Yeah. As we crust it over that little undulation, mm -hmm. that switchback. Sorry yeah. to cut you off. I oh, no, you're good. <laughs> Yeah, because I feel like with the 350, it's more like it's a lot rigid. More rigid, yes. yes. Uh, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> and the 370 was more refined than the 350, obviously. It was a huge improvement mm -hmm. in that regard. But I feel like, once again... <laughs> so it's like, that's that's what you're buying for $41,000. Completely stock. Right. I mean, it's... I've had a GTR with a lot of money into it, mm -hmm. at 840 wheel. Wow. Uh, I sold right before COVID started, uh -huh. and it took a lot to get it to that point, right? Right. But in stock form, I'm thoroughly impressed with the acceleration in this car. Right, yeah, it feels great. It sounds nice too. So this is a Nismo Sport prototype exhaust okay ironically we're an aftermarket exhaust manufacturer mm -hmm. and they gave us a car with an aftermarket exhaust on it and yeah it's kind of ironic <laughs> um but it's nothing we'd want to do anyways and kudos to them to obviously getting ahead of the eight ball and putting something on it it definitely has a clean sound i gotta give right. it that you know you gotta give credit where credit's due and they did a solid job and you know who knows if it's going to be a permanent thing that's why it's a mm -hmm. prototype right exactly it doesn't actually, like you stated, it doesn't have much body roll, mm -hmm. surprisingly. Right. Um, but the tires, when I've driven in Angeles where I pushed it really hard and mm -hmm. I can get it to push. I've driven it in Decker Canyon where I've driven it really hard and it's opposite contrasting. Mm -hmm. One's really tight, one's really large. Oh, with, okay. Uh, sweepers. And I can get I can get it to push. I mean, I'm not going to try it here, but give you a feel of how it handles. Oh, wow. Power on demand, though. It's ridiculous, That's right? That's nice. So here, this is kind of tight here. So it actually takes it pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Stock. It was like, feels great. Look at this tight turn. That feels nice. And there's where it lacks the braking. Yeah. <laughs> That's 
that's, <laughs> and that's the issue, right? Mm -hmm. So you have such quick acceleration. But not enough brake. Because you have great horsepower to weight ratio, mm -hmm. but not enough braking. Yeah. Which undoubtedly they're going to solve in the um, performance. Right. This is where I think, like, and I've talked about this a little bit the last couple of days to the camera, where the novice driver needs to be really careful with this car. Mm -hmm. Because if they don't know their limitation. Right. And they're trying to push the car too hard, they're going to get themselves in a world of hurt really quick. Yeah. Being boosted and being light in the rear end. Right. Because really, once these become readily available and, you know, more people are able to get them, anybody, any teenager can get their hands on them. And, yep. you know, they're just thinking, oh, it's just a sports car with, with power and it's fun and all. Yep. But it's like, it can also be very dangerous. Guess what? We're going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> We do not mind. Yes. You give me that acceleration for forty thousand dollars. Thank you. Right. Exactly. Let's like yes, please. Yes. I mean, we've been boosting Z's for ten years. The three seventy. Yeah. And no doubt, our turbo kit in stage one form on a 370 is going to put about 450 to the ground mm -hmm. at like the 4, 420, 430 on wastegate spring pressure, bare minimum. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't put the power to the ground as well as this car even does it. And granted, this car is making 400 flywheel, so let's just say hypothetically it's underrated and it makes 400 wheel or 390 wheel. Um, the, the tuning they've made to the suspension and the power plant to accept the, the twin turbo motor, right? The engineers at the factory. Because mm -hmm. we've made our turbo kit like OEM, but it's not OEM. Right. No matter what we do, it's always going to be aftermarket. Mm -hmm. So it's going to feel like OEM, but this, I feel, uh, it's really, it, it's drivable. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like at any point I was going to lose control. Yeah. You know? And I consider myself an intermediate driver, not an advanced. I can accept that. Right? <laughs> it's okay. There's no heroes. I'm not trying to impress anybody. But, um, it's, it's just really cool because you get it out of the box. So. Right, exactly. And it's great. It feels great. Coming down this canyon a few times, I'm like, yeah, it it just, it's more solidifying how I feel about it. When are you getting one? Right? Right after you get yours. Right after I get mine? <laughs> well, does that mean I'm giving you mine? Maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll, you... I'll come by and we, I'll, I'll take it for the weekend. All right. <laughs> what are you, you going to tell your dad with his love for the 350? Oh, man. He won't give it back. He'll be he'll take the keys. Totally. He'll be like, it's mine now. We've had customers over the years, 300. So we've made exhaust systems for the 300Z all up, right? Mm -hmm. 300, 350, 370. And in a 20-year span, you've had people that have transitioned into other vehicles. They've grown up. They've started in their 20s, and they're now maybe in their late 30s, 40s. Right. Married, kids, house, the whole deal. Yeah. They've moved on other things. They've jumped out of the platform. Right. I think that this car is going to bring a lot of people back mm -hmm. to the platform. Um, right. I want one. Like, I, I wish that Jonathan and the guys would say, keep it. <laughs> because we'd start modifying it next week. Right. Just, if that next week. <laughs> you know, what's that? I said, if that next week. If, not, if that next week. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's all with the air conditioner on, by the way, so it's more it's crazy. More load. Yeah. The engine. They say true car enthusiasts, when they want to take off, they turn off their air conditioner. That's it. <laughs> you want to really you sweat it out. If yeah, you, you it's wanna fine. Get, you want to get adrenaline, you'll be good. You want to get the <laughs> maximum engagement, you turn right. it off and sweat it out. Mm -hmm. It has electric steering, and all things considered, with that steering, there's actually a decent amount of engagement. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel sloppy, it feels fairly tight. I mean, final thoughts, I love the car. Um, definitely loved riding in it. Um, it's not just something that looks good, but it feels good too. Um, for what you're getting for the base model, I think it's great. You know, you get these nice 18 inch wheels that, I mean, I personally would rock them for a little while. I think they look great. Um, the seats, not as comfortable as I was expecting, but you know, definitely something that you can switch out later on. Um, I mean, all in all, I think it's a great car. What do you think of the uh, acceleration? It's nice. I like it. It went fast. It went fast. It's impressive for out of the box, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. Because I'm like, I mean, 
don't tell my dad, but I'd be hauling in his 350 when I have it. I was like, well, your dad's gonna know now, so it's all knows good. nothing. Our dad, it's all good. <laughs> I'd let my daughter do it too one day. <laughs> I'm like, I think the acceleration is great. Wait, are we recording all that? We are. Oh. And we're gonna roll with all this. Oh, stuff. we're just gonna go for it. We're just oh, going for okay. it. Okay. We're going for it. Okay. Cool. Authentic and relatable. Yeah. That's what you all want. That's what we yeah. give you. That's cool. Oh um, yeah. yeah. So I mean, I think the car was really responsive. Like it, yeah. there was no turbo lag per se no, on not. some of them. You know, it's like. You can put your foot to the ground and you know, you have that lag in between, but I thought it felt great. You know, um, the braking lacked. You were going like 90 and you press that brake and I was like, I don't think we're, we're stopping fast enough. She assumed I was going 90. It because felt like he was going 90. We were not, break, so we were not breaking the law. We were not breaking the law. You yeah. know, uh -huh. we weren't, we were going like we were going 54 and a 55. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, that. But it is under brake. We've talked about that. It's yeah. under brake. It's Got a little bit of body roll that you can allude to, right? Yeah, I was like, the body roll is minimal. It is there, but you know, I'm sure some aftermarket sway bars can, you know, fix that. But still, all in all, though, like you said, out of the box, it's right. great. Definitely an enthusiast car for what you're paying for the power for the car for what it is. I think it's great. I mean, you know, enough that you can still opt out of all the options for the premium if you want to modify it. Versus, you know, someone that wants it as a weekend car just to, you know, have it as a cruiser and just have it as is. And I think that that's more for someone of that nature. So all in all, I think it's a great car and I definitely buy it. So maybe I'll buy one. <laughs> you hear that Nissan? You should hire this, this girl right here. Hire yeah, her. I want one. It's, it's, um, it's great feedback. You know, it's, I've been, I've been spouting off for the last four days. They've been staring, <laughs> they've been staring at me and on all the IG lives and all the videos and everything. It's nice to get uh, feedback from someone else that's actually able to sit in it and ride in it, mm -hmm. that has knowledge of the industry and you have connections in the industry and you have history with your dad and, and through the love of the Z car. And it's, I mean, I think you're spot on. I think it's, it's interesting because you're giving feed, you're giving very similar feedback from the passenger seat that I'm giving from the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's interesting. That's that you're able to connect with the vehicle as much as I am, but you're not driving the vehicle. Right. Right. So, um, so what do we know? Right. We know it accelerates well. We know it, it looks sexy. Mm -hmm. We know that it obviously power and torque is there through the acceleration. We know that the handling's decent, but not great. Mm -hmm. Uh, we know that it's under tired and it's under braking. Uh, and the seats are not the most comfortable thing in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's more than a rebodied 370Z, right? Right. So if it was a rebodied 370Z, it would essentially have a naturally aspirated VQ 37 VHR motor in it, right. maybe with a little bit of a power bump. Mm -hmm. And I know I got really technical with the terminology there, but that's what the engine is, or was in that, in that iteration. Um, between the upgrades they've made and the body styling, right? More of that a la 240, 240, 300, mm -hmm. 2022 dash infotainment Great. system. Uh -huh. Oh, now I'm twin turbo V6. Yep. We hit a home run, right. I think, so. Yeah. I think it, it's gonna make a lot of the original enthusiasts from back in the day when this all first started, really happy that they did all that and they modernized it and they made it into this. Love it. Well, thank you for coming out. Thank you for having me. It's been a lot of fun. Appreciate it. Yes, Get, it's been a lot of fun. Getting to hang out with you, spend the afternoon with you. And, uh, Likewise. We got a dyno in the background next door, and we're just gonna roll with it. And it's been great. We're gonna keep it rolling. Thanks for watching. And Alexis, Tony, Ryan, Fast Intentions, and uh, check her pages out. Follow, like, subscribe. Do thank all you. those great things. Help us keep this going. So interact with us, please. We greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you soon.